So you guys, on the original series, there were heated debates about so many issues that we're still dealing with today, like racism, homophobia, and women's rights. Kevin, how does opening up about these topics feel today compared to 1992? Well, first of all, thank you all for having us. I want to say I'm a big fan of all of you as hosts on this show. It's, just, it's an honor. Um, you know, we covered racism. We covered homophobia. Phobia. We dealt with the issue of homelessness when Julie went out there and did some work with a homeless woman in the community. Um, we had no idea. There was nothing before us that, you know, said to us, this is how you behave or what you do on a show. We were our authentic selves. And so what we were passionate about came out loud and clear. And just the fact that we have Black Lives Matter that has exploded in the last year, we're about to go into this George Floyd trial in Minnesota in a few days, says that in spite of all the progress we've made, obviously Barack Obama being the first black president of the United States, other things that have happened, uh, we still have a long way to go. But I think with our cast, I just want to stress this. You know, I'm so glad you showed that clip at the beginning because I was the oldest of the cast members. Julie was the youngest, and I did feel a brotherly bond to her. And a lot of times people focus on the argument that we had, which is probably the most famous argument ever on the history of racism in the country on TV. Hmm. But there was also a relationship, which is why we're connected to this day. And we were actually connected before we even got the call to do these reunion episodes. So it's important to say that you see our evolution with these new episodes. Oh, that's really important. Yeah. Yeah. I love the bond. Yeah. So, Julie, you have two teenagers at home now. What... Do they think of the original episodes? <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's my kids. Um, <laughs> you know, it's one thing, you know, a lot of my friends will say to their kids, you know, I remember what it was like to be your age and I know what it was like to be 19 or 17, but, um, but I'm the only one I know whose kids actually watch them be that age. And that is, that's really just not always awesome. You know, um, <laughs> some of it they have fun with and they think it's kind of, you know, funny. And then other parts, they're like, you know, what were you thinking? You know, like, I think kids today would never think of being that open, um, you know, because we didn't grow up thinking, oh, well, there's cameras all around, you know. So we did do a lot of things that were pretty um, unguarded. Mm -hmm. And Julie, your daughter got to talk to some of your castmates during the reunion. Let's take a look. There's so much it. more you can do. Look, Phoebe wants to say hi. Oh, they're my Harry Potter fans. It's just so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Look, now you got to meet Kevin. Hey. She really wanted to meet you because she found out you were on CNN. Oh, my God. You're on CNN, and my mom is just like, <laughs> Kevin. This Kevin. is your daughter. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. I met your mom when she was a teenager, and you're a teenager. <laughs> mm -hmm. So nice. And I, I heard your kids were a little disappointed when you left to film the show without them. <laughs> yes, they were like, what? When I told them this was going on. Um, mm -hmm. But you have to think, like, um, you know, my son goes into work with Heather whenever we're in New York. Like, he, you know, runs around with her. And, you know, my kids have never known life without my friends from the real world. So, yeah, when I got the call, they were like, well, you just got invited to a family reunion that we aren't included in? You know, it oh. felt really odd to them. They were a little bummed. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone on the cast has changed in different ways. You've gotten older, but there was one new development that surprised everyone, the snoring. So, Kevin, how bad was it? Tell us. <laughs> you know, when you're in your 20s, you you know, or Julie's age 19, you, you kind of ignored everything. I mean, it was, it was loud back then, but when you're <laughs> middle age, quote unquote, and people are snoring, Heather, Norman, uh, <laughs> you know, it was it was a lot. It was a lot. I was, and I snore. And I snore. And so we all, it's almost like it was a snoring competition going on this time. And it, it was funny. It, it was, was hilarious. Un I just, unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> unbelievable. Yes. <laughs> Julie, what do you hope viewers will take away from the new episodes? Uh, you know, really, my hope is that they see that our story didn't end in 1992. Mm -hmm. You know, we kept going. Our friendship kept going. And, you know, we didn't do everything perfectly in 1992. And we don't do everything perfectly this go around either. I mean, I can just tell you because we are imperfect. Mm -hmm. And I think there's something about that um, that is really you know, helpful for people. And I hope that people, you know, get to see that side of it. 